Welcome to the reInvent session on building the next generation of cloud talent and leaders. I'm Lindsay Ehrlich, the global marketing lead for AWS Restart, a global job skills development program that helps unemployed and underemployed individuals reskill on cloud and IT and connect with job opportunities. Right now, the program is live across 12 countries and counting. And today, I'm here with Bertina Ciccarelli, the CEO of NPower. Bertina? Lindsay, thank you. It's good to be with you today. And in fact, our missions are so aligned. And Power is a national nonprofit, and we trained about 1,500 young adults and veterans and their families every year across the country. Our job is to ensure that the students who go through our training program, which is a range of IT fundamental skills and more advanced training, find great career track IT jobs with corporate partners in all 50 states. Thank you, and that is so important, especially with global unemployment higher than ever. It is more important to focus on reskilling programs to help people launch a new career. And can you tell us, I think one of my favorite parts of my job is connecting with graduates and hearing those success stories of how they were able to build stackable and portable credentials and reskill and launch a career. Can you tell us, Bertina, what does success look like? And do you have a specific example in mind of a strong graduate who's now in their role? Yeah, no, Lindsay, it's, a, it's such a great point. And that too is what fuels me and our team every day. And I would say what success looks like for Empower and our students is ensuring that not only are they getting the first tech job, but that we also work with them through the course of their career to ensure that they're getting continued skills and as you say, upskilling, to be able to move that trajectory. So over a course of three to five years, their income and responsibility levels continue to increase. So I'll yeah. give you the example of Maudu Mabay, just an incredible student who first came to us around 2016, who was working at the time, part-time at a grocery chain, and he was really passionate about IT, knew that this is where he wanted to plant his career, but just not quite sure of the course to take. So he learned from a friend about NPower, and he joined us for our 16-week technology fundamentals course. And from there, got a terrific internship at Bank of America and was hired full time at Bank of America running IT for the trading floor, which is certainly the crucible of, yeah. of tech support. <laughs> so stressful, bar yeah. None, bar none. But he also recognized that for him, uh, getting cloud skills was going to be his path to upskilling. So he returned to NPower and thanks to our relationship with AWS, we're able to offer cloud computing skills in a matter of 10 weeks. He qualified for the cloud practitioner certification as well as the cloud solutions architect certification. On top of that, he was the first person in our course to qualify for AWS security. And guess what? You AWS relocated Maudu from the East Coast and he is now working for you all on the on the West Coast. And I know just really enjoying his new role. That's amazing. And I love to see them moving up too, getting more uh, certifications and credentials to showcase their experience and their um, knowledge is amazing. And that's, I think, um, Maudu's story is a really wonderful example of the kind of stackable credentials we talk about a lot. And by the way, when he joined our second program, when he returned to NPower for the cloud computing coursework, he didn't have a bachelor's degree, but working at AWS after the cloud uh, practitioner certification, he did complete his bachelor's. So it's just a really, I think his is a great story of a combination of getting that four-year degree while at the same time um, getting these credentials, which really opened the technology door for him in a growth career. Yes, that is so inspiring. And it reminds me of a number of restart, uh, AWS restart examples too. And I can think of um, two specifically, we had a, an individual who was in the military and was actually a musician, which um, I think when you first think about it, um, it's hard to kind of make the connection, but if you think about it as a mu musician, you are so good at math 
And so making that um, change to learning the cloud and he joined the AWS Restart program in London and was able to reskill and launch a career in the cloud. Um, and another one that I think really resonates, especially with that story of you don't necessarily need to have a uh, bachelor's degree to launch a career in technology, um, is one of the women who recently or earlier this year finished um, our AWS Restart program in uh, Amsterdam. And in Amsterdam, we work with a, a local collaborating organization called TechGrounds, and they helped uh, bring her in. She was actually working as a, a team lead at the airport. So working with individuals who help all of the grounds things. There's so many logistics that happen behind the scenes at an airport. And she always wanted to get into IT, but didn't really know how. And so this program was really her launch pad to now working at Randstad, a, a global HR company. So I think you're right. There's just so many different pathways and that getting that core foundation of um, IT foundations and cloud knowledge to just continually grow your stackable credentials is so important and makes such a big impact when you're launching your career and establishing yourself in, in technology. I, and I would add to Lindsay that there's something about cloud literacy, right? Getting exposed to cloud skills helps one, even if you are not a cloud engineer, it is portable to careers that might be related to project management, program management, yes. even sales. Um, those who are inside tech sales benefit from just having a broad knowledge of cloud technology. Yes, and even the, the cloud practitioner as kind of a base knowledge. I know I've gone through and have that certification too, so I find it always exciting to talk with um, graduates who have gotten it because you're right, it can just plug into so many other roles that you just don't necessarily think of. It's not always site reliability and DevOps. It could also be adjacent tech roles. That's right. That's right. I was going to hop into and I was thinking and we were talking about um, how global knowledge has, according to global knowledge, cloud expertise is kind of across the top 10 jobs that are related to cloud. And it's also been listed as one of the top 10 recession proof jobs, having a, a job in cloud. Um, so kind of thinking about the opportunities for employers to bring on individuals who may not necessarily have a background in IT, but have gone through one of these reskilling programs like AWS Restart or Empower, what do you think um, employers uh, should really keep in mind and why should they consider hiring individuals from these programs? Lindsay, I'm going to answer that a couple of different ways. And I think the first thing I would say is really um, going back to the re recession-proof nature of cloud jobs. I would just give a, a brief example of another student, Paul Cho, who also came through our program, the Tech Fundamentals, received his A plus certification, his CSENT uh, certification, worked for a managed service provider, came back and got his cloud certifications with AWS, and he worked, we helped place him at a very, very large retailer. Now, we all know that many retail businesses have, have really suffered during this past recession. Unfortunately, his job was cut, but I tell you within six weeks, he got another cloud, great cloud engineering job at Chobani. And so I just, I think it's his story. That example is a, is a great um, one for us to examine in how not only portable these skills are, but just the huge demand that you're describing uh, from global knowledge. And moreover, even though Paul didn't have a bachelor's degree because he had these stackable certifications, his skill set was in high demand, plus he had some experience. So I think as I, as I look at what employers are telling us is they are really eager to find individuals who have skills that are immediately usable and transferable in the job place. And that oftentimes individuals coming from reskilling types of programs like ours have knowledge that is more usable and readily adaptable than oftentimes individuals coming from a bachelor's program. Um, in fact, uh, Sajwal Hader, who runs technology for Oak Hill Advisors, 
and uh, Dan Maslowski, who's a strong and power partner of ours at City, you know, will be the first to say that they really like hiring graduates from our program because not only do they have the skill set to be immediately productive, but they have that raw foundational skill set where then they are really trainable. And as each company has their own systems and ways of doing business, that to be able to then layer on top of that skill set that they come to the company with, with the company individual practices, really does create a lot of magic for long-term employees, long-term growth and career development for those individuals coming from reskilling programs. Definitely. And I know we've heard that from employers from our, our AWS Restart programs, too, is they tend to be more loyal. They're, this is their first opportunity. Um, and we hear that just from day one, once they're paired with a more senior engineer or person working in the cloud, they're able to learn very quickly because they have that background knowledge and they're able to pivot. And I loved your story about kind of being able to pivot in a recession, and we've had a similar example. Um, Jared, who's an AWS Restart graduate out of Boston, actually right during, like in March, was going to launch a gym. He had everything ready. He was a trainer, about to launch his own gym. And then, of course, not a great time to launch a gym in um, 2020. Um, but he was able to pivot so quickly take the AWS restart program and now has a job in the cloud. So I think you're right. There's just so many different opportunities and the ability to have employers help uh, individuals just reskill and launch their career. There's so many opportunities once they have that base of knowledge. Well, Lindsay, I think to, to build on that, if you think about those individuals we've just referenced, they come to a technology position with a lifetime of other experiences, right? So whether true. it's the management savvy to be able to start a gym, whether it's deep retail experience, yes. of managing a convenience store, which is what Paul did before joining Empower. All yes. these experiences and levels of expertise and um, professionalism play well into becoming a great technology professional. And we're just, we're just offering that last mile training and, and really helping to prepare on those, those hard skills, those technical skills to help people soar. And in order to help people soar, I know we need support from everyone across the industry and especially employers. So what would you say, Bertina, are some actionable steps that potential employers and people listening to this right now can take to help individuals in reskilling programs? Lindsay, I would offer three ideas. And the first is to really encourage companies to reevaluate the need for a four-year bachelor's degree and some of these job opportunities in technology. What we find with a number of the, the companies we partner with is that a layer of certifications is, is more than enough to really give a deserving young person or a veteran or somebody coming from another industry a great start in the business. The second thing I would offer up is the, the benefit and value of internships and apprenticeships, especially with the intent to convert to full-time employment. Sometimes what I hear is, well, it's a risk to hire somebody who doesn't have a college degree. But if you start that person as an apprentice and really help to shore up training and those systems unique to your company, these individuals can become terrific long-term uh, staff members. And then finally, there's a lot of merit in mentoring and sponsorship programs internally within a company, especially for candidates who may come from non-traditional backgrounds. And that just really helps to um, integrate an individual in the culture of the company and to clarify the expectations and form partnerships and invest in a person so it's, they're not just successful that first year or two on the job, but really are well positioned for long-term growth and development within a company. Definitely, and I think that long-term growth piece is kind of the key here. And I know from the employers that I talk to, hearing about all of the different opportunities that hiring entry-level people can offload maybe entry-level tasks that senior-level engineers are working on and giving these people the opportunity to learn from senior-level engineers and that mentoring aspect that you're talking about makes 
everything more effective, but also helps those individuals get on board very quickly and build really loyal employees that will keep growing with your company. And it's a, it's a great benefit for both mentor and mentee. Yes, so right, you're, you're so right. And so what can um, kind of bring this all together, because I know we are close uh, to time, where can people go to dive deeper about Empower and the reskilling programs that you work on? So the best place to go is our website at empower.org. And we welcome all inquiries, questions, ideas, and applicants. Yes. Amazing. And um, same for AWS Restart. Uh, if you're an interested applicant or potential employer, check out our AWS Restart website. And you can also find more information about AWS Restart and all of our AWS education programs on the education program section of Training and Certification Hub at reInvent. Um, so thank you all for joining us. I know we had a great time and we're glad that you were here to join us. And I hope you all have a great rest of the time at reInvent.